Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful video. Today we have an exciting update because we have 17 new items. That's right, 17 new items for the party house and some exciting news because we are soon going to be able to uh, actually be able to build outside. That's right, we're going to be able to build outside very soon. This is something that I've been theorizing for a bit now uh, because they added the whole like you have to use the shovel to kind of customize the outside a slight, a tiny bit. Uh, so I figured, you know, soon we're going to be able to customize the outside and according to this picture, according to this tweet, we are going to be able to customize the party house outside the main party island like just customize the party island itself and that's really exciting that's really good news uh, I, I want to point out a couple things about this picture before we talk about the overall update because this is probably the most exciting thing about what we've learned today uh, and that is that uh, the first thing that I want to point out is that the actual building the actual building that you go into and in, in, in Ponytown is actually missing in this picture I don't know why it's missing I don't know if that means we're gonna be able to actually pick up that that building and move it or if that building is just gonna no longer exist and we're only gonna be able to customize the outside like this uh, I don't know what that means exactly but uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough uh, something else I want to mention real quick is it seems like once this once this finally comes out we're gonna have m even more items we're gonna have stuff like these fence posts uh, it seems like we might be able to use snow piles and the um, the uh, snowman and stuff like that. I, I don't know if I, I would I would hope so, but it definitely seems like we're going to be able to get those uh, items uh, to place and everything like that. It seems like there's going to be new textures and stuff like that to some of the items. Uh, I, that's what I have these over here for. But these these bushes, these like saplings, these uh, like little pine trees. If you go back to this photo, they're actually different in this photo than they are in Ponytown right now. So I don't know if that means uh, we're going to get a texture change for them or if we're going to get like a seasonal texture change to them. So like depending on what season it is, the color changes. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just going to be an extra sapling, an extra kind of bush, stuff like that. I don't know what that means. Same thing with the snow that's on all of the um, items and everything like that. I don't know if that means like, oh, if it's winter, everything just automatically gets that texture on it or if there's some kind of extra item where you can have one that doesn't have snow on it and one that does have snow on it. I don't know exactly what that means, but that will be very interesting to find out in the coming uh, weeks as they eventually roll that out. Right now, if you are a Patreon supporter, you can actually visit this island uh, and actually customize the island if you're a Patreon supporter because that is one of the uh, benefits that you can have as a Patreon supporter. So uh, back to Ponytown, back to the overall Ponytown and everything like that. I want to mention a couple things here uh, that I, I, that are just really interesting because it, they're actually really cool because we have some new items here. This uh, is not a bar stool. This is actually a small table. Now, I don't know why they decided to call this a small, a small round table uh, or just a round table uh, because it's not very much of a table, if you ask me. It looks more like a bar stool or like a little stool of some kind. Um, I think they should have named that stool and then had a proper round table because when I saw the, the change log saying that we have a new round table item I was like oh heck yes we, we now have a new shaped uh, table that we can use in our builds and everything like that and then it was just this this isn't a very exciting um, table uh, but it is technically a table nonetheless and I think it's going to be very interesting I really hope that we get a larger version of this soon but for now this is what we have uh, you may notice that there's some plants over here that are sitting on these round tables this is not a thing that you can do you cannot just grab an object and put it on the table this this is just something that is an additional item in the game. Uh, so now there is a plant variant that has the uh, the table on it. Uh, next up on this list here, we have two new torches. We have a torch, uh, or classic torch that comes on whenever it's night. We have a torch that's always on and then a torch that's always off. This is, uh, I don't really like this very much. Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense to have it. I, I do like the idea of having one that's always off, but at the same time, it feels weird to just I don't know. It just seems unnecessary to me. I don't. I don't know. It's just. It's just one of those small things that are like okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm cool with that. It's two new items. That's fine. Uh, next up, we have all of these potted plants. They are very... I, I love these plants. These plants are really good. Uh, but you can actually change the color of these plants. You can actually, uh, you know, paint these plants. You know, just the pot, really. But you can't really change the actual color of the plant itself. But you can't... Well, you, you kind of can. But uh, you're mainly changing the color of the pot itself. Uh, this is something that's... that I, I, I really love this because now we have actual plants in, in Ponytown. We can make uh, proper gardens now, a proper greenhouse or something like that. I think a greenhouse item, uh, like a greenhouse um, 
uh, house or something like that would be a very fun house uh, to build and to look and watch and everything like that. I really love some of the designs that they have on these potted plants, like these little hearts and stuff like that, these stripes. Uh, they're really nice. They're just a great touch. I, I love how you can kind of change the color of the flower itself that's in this one. Um, it's very interesting. We're going to have a lot of new possibilities with the house and everything like that. And moving on, we now have these signs. We now have six new uh, signs. Uh, these, you're going to get these by using the paint tool. You're going to place a sign, then you're just going to tap that or click that sign, and you're going to be able to change between all six of these or the original uh, sign that just has the random incoherent text. Uh, I do hope that this is a sign that eventually we're going to be able to customize this sign fully and maybe eventually put add text or something where, like, if someone clicks it, it just puts up text or something like that. I think that would be a really nice touch for them to add. I hope that that's something they, that they add soon uh, because that would be a very nice touch. But as you can see, we have a question mark, an explanation point, up, down, uh, left, right. We have all of those arrows. Uh, we don't have diagonal arrows yet. Um, that's something that I think that eventually we'll get. I, I say that just because it seems like they want to be able to uh, add all the arrow directions. Um, so maybe we'll get diagonal direction arrows soon on signs that we can paint. Uh, but that's that's pretty much all, all, all there is for the items itself. Now, uh, like, like I said, you can change the color of these, but you can't change the color of anything else. You can only do that with these plants and these, this sign, um, which technically you're not changing the color of the sign, you're just changing the pattern itself on it. But if we go over to our shovel tool here and we start, uh, let's see, let's put some stone over here and stuff like that. Uh, if I don't want this stone here anymore, if I want to like redo that, I don't. Ha I no longer have to press Z to redo what I just did. I can actually tap that again, and it will remove it. This is an interesting feature that I think will help a lot in building. But at the same time, I think it's going to be something that some people are going to have to get used to, myself included, because what happens usually is, uh, for the, for example, this long streak of water here, I have to, you know, tap it multiple times and try and get it all the way across and everything like that. Sometimes uh, it won't. It won't seem like it does it. Does it, or it will lag half a second or something like that. So it kind of puts the water there and immediately it does it either disappears by itself or something like that it, you can get weird um not glitches but basically the game will lag and it'll make it be like oh i didn't place something there and then you'll place something there and then it will remove what you just placed because you actually did place it there was just lag so uh i hope i explained that well but uh essentially uh, this is something where you can now t uh, press it and it will redo whatever it used to be. So for example, this brick, uh, it's brick, but now it's stone. Now if I press it again, it will be brick again. This is, uh, like, like I said, something that I think I'm going to I'm gonna enjoy, but I think overall it's going to be something that I eventually have to get used to. So on to some more uh, tiny things. We now have a objects limit command objects limit if we just type that in there in the chat there it will tell us how many objects we have uh stuff like that so object count is 28 of 175 we have uh, 175 for base. If we're a supporter, we can have the, some of the other ones. If we go back down over here in the chat. So for supporter tier one, you have 200. For support, supporter tier two, you have 275. And then supporter tier three, you have 350. So it seems like they're trying to add like 75 for each tier and everything like that. There's also a slash wall limits because there was apparently a wall limit in the house. The map does not have wall limits. That's what I, that's what I'm thinking. Like I didn't understand why they added that command because there wasn't wall limits before. I don't understand that. Um, I think that's more to do with the actual um, being able to build outside and everything like that. I think that's what that's for because if you build outside, you will be you'll you'll have to place walls outside. And I think they didn't want to have like unlimited walls outside or something like that. So maybe they like try to add a limit on it or something. And maybe building outside is the only place you're going to see this wall limit. Um, but yeah, it just, it feels weird because it just, it just tells you that there's no wall limits. I don't know if that's a bug or what, but that's an interesting thing too. Something else that I want to mention real quick, uh, this is probably the last thing, but if you actually go to your uh, settings over here, the, uh, the house uh, tab is now renamed to building tab and there's no longer a clear house or a load house or a save map, a save house, reset house. It is now save map, load map, clear map, unlock map, lock map, that sort of thing. Because what they're doing is they're... They're basically phasing out the house, or at least that's what it seems like they're trying to do here. And so now your house is now considered the map, uh, the map of like your your area and everything like that. So uh, what's going to happen now is you're going to save your entire island under one command. And you're, I would hope that we get our house, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. But 
uh, you're now going to use slash, you're still going to use slash safe house and stuff like that. But once this update comes out, once we're able to actually build on the party island and everything like that, once we're finally able to build like this, we're going to be using the slash save map command. So that's something to keep in mind. Use slash safe house right now. But soon when this, the next update comes out, when we're finally able to build outside, use slash save map because that's what they're going to be switching to. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, there's try to try to go through this as quickly as possible but thank you for watching if you did watch all the way through let me know in the comments and please don't forget to like subscribe share do those wonderful things because when you do those wonderful things you get access to wonderful content such as this but that's not all you get that's not all you get you just get to become wonderful yourself and i think i think we all want that so do those wonderful things and until next time stay wonderful